The long wait is over. Season 2.0 of fan-controlled football has returned. We are back bigger and better than ever. Atlanta, Georgia, our home once again. And this time around, a state-of-the-art production facility has been designed solely for fan-controlled football. Welcome inside Pullman Yards. This historic site has been transformed to become the home of fan-controlled football. From four teams to eight teams, added players, added camera angles like this as we take you throughout the facility to bring you a 360-degree look at all the high-paced action called by you, the fans. Are you ready? Let's go. Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Cecil Terry with the win. What are you going to do? Glacier Boys taking the ball. Here we go. Game one. Let's go, FCF. To talk about being iced out, Oliver has time. Downfield. That man, Jamil, lunging to catch. haul it in. Andrew Jamil gets us our first touchdown of season 2.0. He's into the owner's box. Ugh. You see why I got the franchise tag. How about this play? Like I said, you can't keep him off the ball too long. Very good job by Oliver. And what a catch! <laughs> the full extension right in front of his picture. Wow! <laughs> How about that by Jamil? Obviously, he's a franchise player for a reason as he gets his 40 starts. But that is impressive. The route was impressive. The catch was impressive. Very good start to his FCF season two, right here. Here's Jamil against Quantes Stiggers oh. and makes quick work of that cutting inside. See it here. One, two, three, and whew. And he's wide open. The defender's like, what do you want me to do here? <laughs> <laughs> right, you got this guy who can go to the right, he can go to the left, and it's a very good job of Jamil cutting his split down. At Pullman Yards, under nine to play. First half, handoff, and gang tackle for the oh. moment. Look at it, the maneuvers. The QB block Ooh. couldn't do enough to help Aline. Second and 10 after the non-catch. Oliver now throwing downfield. Oh. That's trouble. Uh -oh. Easy interception there. Stiggers comes up with it. He's on the move out of the end zone to the 20 right underneath us and driven out of play. Quantez Stiggers with the first pick here in season 2.0. Fourth and one. Goes to the oh. corner. And that's off the box. Hit up top above the intended receiver, Jordan Smith. You know, we wondered if those boxes would come into play when we saw this facility. And that was right off the T.O. zone. And you yeah. can see it, it goes up high. He goes up to get it in the earth. He's like, wait, defender above my head? <laughs> and that's something that you have to adjust to. They got to have it. There it goes. Stewart rolls out. Looking for a lane, firing on the run, and tipped away. The defense is there for the Glacier boys. Tried to go back of the end zone to no avail. Frustration for Jordan Smith. Perhaps to start off the season before rosters get locked. There's still be ways to aid, add players like waiver wires, but Stewart says, what about me? Deep ball, hauled oh. in, touchdown! That's how you get your quarterback oh. on the same page. Oh. Try Chandler in the end zone. I had not think he had a, a shot at that. There was uh, four guys just playing jump ball 41 yard connect way downfield second look courtesy of great clips i mean it just goes up and it's just a jump ball opportunity and the smallest man <laughs> on the that. field makes the play to come inside osborne there Ooh. right through the hands owen oh, smith looking for a flag he thought a grab of the face mask perhaps and Osborne gives them a tumbo wave as he heads back down the other way. I love the defender when the receiver drops the ball and he gives them a tumbo wave. It's a very good job, gives them a head <laughs> hesitation, gets a dig oh. on the back line. That's a, that's a catch that has to be made by Jordan Smith. You can see it's a little bit of jersey grabbing and things like that, but that ball is perfectly placed and still has an opportunity to catch the ball. Oh, that missed extra point. Yeah, two points left on the board. Woodruff throws off his back foot, yeah. taken away. It's Quantez Stiggers again. Full head of steam to the 25. Stiggers taken down at the 15. What a debut for the youngest player in the fan control football league. Incredible. Jamil is a, a great target, but you have to make sure it's clear and sunny. It's not the backside corner. The youngest football player in this league makes an interception and a great play for his team. Second pick of the day, and the celebration is on. Available here for Stewart, throwing on the run and connecting. Touchdown, Harrison Dreer. 
You talked a lot about that last week, Devin, the throwing across your body in this league. The, the narrower field kind of allows that, right? Yeah, I mean, especially when you've got a big arm quarterback. Uh, you have to make sure it's clear and sunny, though, right? We talked about it last week where you can throw it across, the, across your body, but you don't want to have bodies of the opposite color jersey in the way. And you can see here, rolls right, finds it clear and sunny, nobody on the backside, and an easy, easy completion. Very good job of connecting with the receiver there. Oh. Dreer breaks free oh. to the ground, pulls it in. Two-point conversion is there for the Beast. 14 unanswered. Woodruff to Jamil back in the end zone. He caught Big it. Was he inbounds? Touchdown is the call. We talked about it. Woodruff and Jamil needing to connect. They do. A great like, job. Roll left. Get the ball up outside. Very good job of the adjustment, right? You can see him going to that back pylon. He sees the ball. He adjusts, turns his head, gets up, and gets his feet. I don't know. This guy must have go-go gadget legs. How does he reach way up there, jump, and get his foot down before going down out of bounds? He is a human highlight reel. Yes, he is. A tremendous grab, and he might just be a great pick for Gatorade Player of the Game fans. Time to start nominating the athlete you think is today's Gatorade Player of the Game. And After fan review, the real on the field for touchdown, it's confirmed. Two-point conversion. Miscommunication, and that one sails high. Oh. Concept where you're going to get a pick from two receivers running across the field. Stewart loads it up, airs it out to the end zone. Ooh. Touchdown! A 40-yard connect to Jordan Smith. Beautiful. And how great is it that we got a preview of what that play was? You could see it develop. You could watch how the how the uh, great view from the spider cam too. You could see how the the receivers ran those routes, opening yeah. up space in the end zone. Beautiful. Yeah, I mean the rub action creates a mismatch and allows him to be open. He's been complaining all day. They're grabbing me. It's pass interference. <laughs> well, how about get a rub concept and you get wide open and we don't have to worry about it for a touchdown. Andy. Two point conversion here. A little tangle there. The five yard line. A lot of contact. And then at the last second, knocked down. Collaboration that fans have been waiting on all week. Here's a possible connect. Oh. No, it's an interception. A takeaway. Is that a third for Stiggers? It is. This one ends in a touchdown. He wants that Gatorade player of the game. What? Look at him. A debut for the 20 year old rookie, this especially in this first outing. Man up. Off the fingertips, he hangs on at the last second. Woodruff steps up. He'll fire downfield. Jamil to the 10. Whoop. Falls down, and he is stopped at about the 8. Good recovery there from Stephen White. And 7 on 6 advantage. Woodruff, quick fire. Jamil had to have it. He hauls it in. Who else? Who else would it be? You got to give yourself a high five afterwards. Here's Woodruff, a little separation. Uh oh. Bounced off the receiver's shoulder. Dixon was there, he'll want that one back. Once again, you can see that they understood and, and adjusted that they're gonna allow us to play. You can see a bit of a push off from the receiver. Nothing's called, but the ball is super hot from five yards away. That is a tough catch. At least 10 yards to keep their hopes of a comeback alive. Here's Woodruff. On this fourth down, on their own 10. Complete wow. to Jamil, and they'll keep their drive alive. When in doubt, go to that number one receiver. Football, and Woodruff will try and execute what the fans want. Let's fly. Oh! Intercepted, taken away. Mike Lee to put a cap on this one to the end zone. Oh, Touchdown. Oh, oh, oh. Mike Lee getting in on the interception fun after Stiggers took one to the house. Lee has his time in the sun. I mean, that is about as good an interception as you're going to see. That ball should fall harmlessly to the ground, thrown across the body again, jumps wow. underneath, picks it, wow. tumbles, and darts to the 10, the 5. Touchdown. Difference maker in this entire contest. Falling down, getting wow. back up, hauling it in. Everything clicking right now for the Beasts. Woodruff tries to escape. He does, but running out of options, and he is out of bounds with, looks like, time 
expiring as he slides out of play again. That defense from the Beast doing the job, and that is going to bring an end to this one. A 36 to 20 victory for the Beast, keyed by their defense. How about the young man Stiggers? He was exceptional all day. And look at that young face. What a debut. Just 20 years old. A debut for the ages here in fan control football. And I would imagine that he would get the vote for player of the game because he himself flipped this game on its head. Hang on. They may be putting a second back on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> Where was this at the end of the first half when we needed an extra second? Exactly. Uh, like I said, it's, it's never over. It's over. But if we're going to get one more play, that's fine. But. You know, it's I don't know if there are any 16 point plays. I mean, fan <laughs> control football got a lot of cool rules, a lot of cool power ups. 16 points is not one of them. Tent. Stiggers interception would be poetic justice. Yeah, there you go. Woodruff way downfield and out that of play. Was... And that's all for this one. Now you can confirm it. The Beasts get the first victory of season 2.0 of the fan controlled football league with a dominant defensive showing 36 20.